good behavior, aren't you? I try to be? Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do re I mean... Look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is... Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will dis Because I know the truth. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. Our dad, he was, well, uh, well, I didn't buy it. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Mm -hmm. My dad found out and was right. I tried talking to the mayor. The mayor sure wanted to talk out. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Look alive. Well, you sure manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Get in trouble. It's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise, or reward, or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know. I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's, that's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? What can I do? Piper. Shoot. Your thoughts? I like my pistols like I like my company. High caliber. I'm talking about you, Blue. I just wanted to check in. Make sure things were all right between us. Well, it's awful nice to be traveling with someone who's got their head on straight. So, I'd say I'm good. So, you're not an idiot. <sighs> Thanks. You too. No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. All right. What's the issue? I'm just terrified she's going to start taking up like her big sis. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around, uh -huh. she'll just go back to being sweet. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away, because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. 
I guess, but I thought I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? Look alive. Point. You know, you look like you could really use Look this. alive. These things have literally saved my life. Are things all right between us? Well, it's awful nice to be traveling with someone who's got their head on straight. So, I'd say I'm good. You got a minute? Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just, Blue, <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Hey. What you got for something I can do? I was just wondering where you and I stand. I'm with the person I love, helping those in need. I couldn't imagine a better life. Oh, nothing. Okay, 